this is part three of my budget-friendly Bob backpack throwdown video series featuring the LA Police Gear Operator backpack and the OpMod Tac Pack by Optics Planet. So for this particular portion, we're going to do the water test. In the past, I've done some of my water tests at the car wash using the high pressure sprayer, but that might be a little bit unfair. So for this particular challenge, we're going to use something a little bit more practical and realistic. So none, neither of these backpacks are totally waterproof, but they should offer some level of water resistance. I have both backpacks stuffed with paper towels. So I have full rolls in the main compartment that you see here. And then on the smaller compartments, I have the paper towels rolled up as you see here. So in the little micro ones that you see here on the side, medium size and the small. Same with the OpMod. So we have the full paper towel rolls in the main compartment. And then each other of the smaller compartments has the kind of, you know, a flat piece of the paper towels. So for this video, we're going to use just a normal lawn sprayer and we're just going to do, you know, try to simulate rain uh, going on the, both of the backpacks. So nothing's high pressure on this. I'm going to have it go up in the air and we're going to try to go for 30 minutes for each backpack and see just how much water it resists. So I'm going to sit in these lawn chairs for 30 minutes while I'm getting drenched with the sprinkler. And while I can't carry both backpacks on my backpack, one of them's going to sit in the chair, the other one's going to be strapped on my back. I'll start off first with the operator backpack, and I'm going to have them in the chairs just so they're not uh, soaking in the, the wetness that's coming from the ground. So they'll at least be elevated from the ground to try to keep it a little bit more fair. But I don't want to really get my street clothes wet, so let's change into my prepper outfit. Now that's more like it. Let's get started. All right, it's been around 30 minutes. Let's open them up and see how they did. All right, let's start off first with the operator backpack. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty, pretty wet. So, uh, let's go through one of these side ones here. Yeah, I mean, what? <laughs> All right, let's open up that main compartment. I imagine they're going to be a little wet. Let's check it out. You know, actually, uh, they're a little wet, but they're actually not too bad. This one, I think, is actually completely dry. Yeah, there you go. That one's, that one's dry. This one is a little bit wet here. Uh, I think where the zipper actually closed at is where I'm seeing the water come in, but on the other side, it seems to be uh, dry. Let's see if on the bottom. A little bit of uh, moisture down on the bottom. Uh, the drain hole, you know, probably tried its best, but <laughs> that was kind of an onslaught of rain that you saw there. So yeah, uh, all in all pretty good uh, for the main compartment. All, all the outer compartments, uh, they weren't that water resistant. Now let's move on to the OpMod. Let's start with that mid-sized compartment here in the front. Yeah, I mean, especially towards the bottom. It was wet. Actually, the top portion didn't seem to be as wet, but the bottom definitely might have had a little buildup over there. Let's go up to this smaller one. Actually, I didn't put anything in there, it looks like. Oops. Let's go for one of these mini ones on the side. If I could open it up with one hand. Yeah, I mean, what? Yeah, so I think all these are gonna be wet. I'm gonna open up the main compartment and see how that did. So the zipper was over on that side. Opening it up. You know, uh, man, pretty good, again. Yeah, it, uh, th this entire paper, paper towel is uh, dry except for the very bottom uh, where it looks like the drain hole probably was struggling again. Actually, I'm not, I don't think there is a drain hole on this one, so it looks like probably a little bit of a water buildup at the bottom. But the rest of it is completely dry. 
uh, j just a tiny bit here at the top from what I'm feeling and then a tiny bit at the bottom but the rest of it as well is dry. So all in all they both did pretty well I thought. Uh, of course the outer compartments uh, they're not that water resistant but I, I think if you want to have anything protected uh, you want, you're going to want to store it in the main compartment area which is a little bit more water resistant even under, under that uh, onslaught of water that we just did. That's going to do it for this video featuring the water test of the Opmod Tack Pack versus the LA Police Gear Operator Backpack. All in all, I'd say I'd call this one a draw. Uh, both of them protected the main compartment area contents. Uh, those are fairly dry, uh, all things considered. All of the outer pockets and compartments uh, were completely drenched. So I'd say this one's a tie. Both of them are fairly water resistant. Main compartment, outer compartments, not so much. So please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comments section and stay tuned for the next part in which we'll be doing the drag test. See you guys next time. <laughs> what are you doing? Making a YouTube video. This is how you spend your sunny Sunday afternoons? Yes, it is. Are you scaring the neighbors? Yes. <laughs> And most importantly, are you having fun? What are you doing here? I'm doing a water test of the backpacks. Ah, nice.